CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. In the presence of cricket royalty, Australia trained for the first time at Newlands ahead of Saturday's series deciding third test. Back in the green and gold as spin bowling consultant for the World T20, Shane Warne's early arrival meant the country's greatest wicket taker could pass on his wisdom to the nation's current spinning stable. It's a massive bonus we've got him here for this last test. You know, obviously just uh, he's, you know, he's doing a bit of work with the spinners, but having a guy like that just around and talking to you about stuff, about cricket, it's just a massive bonus to have that experience here. So he's just in amongst the guys, and it's actually great to have him here for this last test. Uh, I know I don't know Shane that well, but I'll, I'll try and get to know him you know, the next few days and pick his brain about a few things. So, you know, having that sort of calibre guy in your, in your group, you, you know, it's priceless. All eyes, though, were on the other Shane in the squad. Watson bowling another trouble-free five overs to appear fully fit and available for selection, pleasing teammate Ryan Harris. He got through fine um, and looked good with the ball, um, pretty accurate as he usually is. So um, as far as I know, he's, he's up for selection. I, there's, no, there's been no talk about team selections or anything as yet. That'll be done either tonight or tomorrow, so all the, night, all the morning of the game. So, and it's not up to me to do that, which is, which is even, even better. So um, look, he looked really good um, and I hope, you know, I hope he plays, but the other thing is, is obviously someone's got to miss out, which is unfortunate. David Warner's recent comments have landed him a 15% match fee fine, but Harris is adamant the Proteas are playing within the rules. For me, it was just the matter of South Africa dealing with the ball, handling the ball better. Yeah, basically, um, they did something that we didn't do and got the ball going reverse. And obviously, as I said to you guys the other day, Stain and Morkel and Philander um, bowled beautifully with it uh, and bowled very well to bowl us out. Um, that... that, that um, well, that spell of bowling, once, once they got that first wicket, you know, to come in and start against the old ball, swinging at pace like that's very hard and they did it very well. Only one day remains before the top two teams in the world clash in Cape Town and Harris says he'll be fit and firing for the decider. If I'm not right, then I won't. I'll tell the coach that I'm not right. But, um, you know, I know that I've got one, one good push here um, and I know I can, I know I'm, you know, I, I said, you know, in my article during the week in the press, I haven't been bowling that well and it's, you know, it's gone public with that, but it's... Something that um, I know I'm not far away, I'm not far off with, with where I'm at, but also I just want to get through. I want to get through this and, and finish off another test match and, and hopefully another series win. And, and then from then on, I've got, you know, after this, I think I've got four months off, plenty of time to get my body right in my knee, more importantly, my knee right, I guess. So uh, it, for me, it's yeah, getting through this and really wanting to, you know, as I said just before, finish off what we started back in, back in Australia. For all your news, scores, and video on Australia's tour of South Africa, Stay logged on to cricket.com.au.